What's up guys, it's Oliver here and today we'll be checking out three mods, uh, the Ordinator Armor, uh, the Colored Map Markers and Arm to the Teeth Easy version. Uh, now over here you can see the Ordinator Armor and um, in my opinion it's kind of Dwarven inspired. You can see this golden, these golden shapes and these golden uh, additions and plates, shoulder plates and everything. Uh, but the colors are really great, they're, they're really contrasting colors, this dark, very black almost here with the gold. Um, and then this, this kind of this purple when it's when it's exposed to the sunlight makes it look really uh, really shiny, really good in terms of contrast and in terms of how it looks overall. And then on the back you have this thing with really cool symbols like a sun and some I don't know it's almost like Aztec symbols if you, if you think about it. And on the top of your head you also have these cool uh, I don't know what I don't even know what this is kind of a crown almost like a mean crown facing forward as if attacking the enemy directly. Uh, you also have these rings. This is like this mask is included in it, and uh, as you can see, a few symbols on that as well. And over here on the edge, we also have these shoulder pads with rings on them, which stick out on either side, which looks really cool overall and um, very mean, but at the same time a very professional look, in my opinion. This armor has. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. So it looks it's uh, craftable in the ebony section, and the crafting materials are quite simple as well. Anyway, now we'll be moving on to the uh, colored map markers mod. And um, this is simply a mod which color recolors all the map markers to make them more easily identifiable. So you can see the large cities here have uh, blue map markers. Uh, the little houses or settlements or shacks, as you can see here, are yellow. Uh, then you have the more rare things like the monuments and uh, the hollows. They're in green. You have the peaks, all the peaks in red, shrines in purple. Um, etc. etc. I'm not going to go through all of them. The seed stones in the turquoise-ish color, and um, as well as these the mines. I think I already said that in yellow. These uh, the the warehouses. The East Empire Company there is in light blue. But overall, it gives a much cleaner. You can really identify all the um, all the things very easily instead of all being the same color. You know, you can actually think, okay, uh, big city. So bam, it has to be one of these dark blue ones like that. So it's a really useful mod and. Um, definitely try it out if you're a bit annoyed with the map system right now and then last of all but not least we have the arm to the teeth mod and um, this is the easy version so it's easier to to manage overall and what it does is you can actually carry more than two weapons or one weapon on your back so let's say I f you have to favorite them to, um, to in order to carry them so let's say this is normal right I have just one oh I didn't even I just favored it now well Anyway, let's just say this is normal. I have one uh, normal one-handed sword, and then I favorite um, a great sword as well. So now I'm carrying and a great sword and a small sword, or a normal sword, and then I favor my ebony dagger and my bow. So you can see the list goes on forever and ever. You can see I have now my ebony dagger and my uh, one-handed sword and the great sword and the um, bow all equipped. So of course you cannot add two of the same type of weapons, but you can add all the different types of weapons. So I could still add my war hammer. Uh, my war axe and um, the the other the other weapons that I've not included yet. So overall, it's a really useful mod, really cool because you can actually it's also more realistic because you actually carry all the things that you use. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty cool. I think I'm gonna use it for some time, and uh, I would definitely recommend it as it's a very logical mod. Anyway, guys, thanks for checking out this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, the download links to all the mods described are in the video below, and please don't forget to subscribe for more Skyrim videos.